Let us now discuss the working of decision tree. Imagine a company is offering a special discount on their products, but not everyone is eligible. To decide if someone is eligible, they consider three factors, age, whether they own a house, and income. So the first question is about age. If age is more than or equal to 40, then this part of the algorithm works. If age is lesser than 40, then this works. First, let's discuss about this part. Age is more than or equal to 40. Whether they own a house. If yes, they are eligible. And age is more than or equal to 40, but they do not own a house. Then there is the third condition, whether the income is greater than or equal to 2,000. If the income is more than or equal to 2,000, then they are eligible. If not, they are not eligible. And if the age is less than 40, then the income is being checked. If it is more than or equal to 3,000, then they are eligible. If not, they are not eligible. So it's like a flow chart that helps the company quickly to determine who qualifies for their special offer. So the decision tree simplifies the process by breaking it down into easy to follow steps based upon age, house ownership, and also income. Decision tree is a supervised learning model and which can also be used for solving both classification as well as regression problem. 